Welcome to our new Manning Cup feature, Behind the Crest, where we get up close and personal, getting news, views, and features from your players and coaches of your favorite school. Stay tuned. We take a look at the West Kingston Base High School, Tivoli Gardens High. Tivoli Gardens High School has managed to always produce some super talents. However, since they last won, in, won the Manning Cup title in 1999, the school has lost its ability to compete with the very best. However, all that is about to change as the Prince Christopher Kimo Nicholas has returned. The man who was dubbed as the one-man band in the 1999 campaign for Tivoli Garden, Nicholas, a general with the ball at his feet, was easily the undisputed king of the Manning Cup in the 1999 campaign. Put things into context, his Tivoli Gardens team was dubbed as the one-man band. As many thought, if Nicholas was not having a good game, then Tivoli Gardens at the time would not be any threat. In the, in the Oliver Shield, Nicholas again proved how much of a quality he was at the schoolboy level as his team went down 5-2 to a rampant state team. However, Nicholas had all the headlines. Christopher Nicholas, coach Tivoli Gardens, welcome to um, Two Hogs, you know, uh, the new series of behind the scenes in the Manning Cup. Coach, it's sinking in, yeah. being called as a coach. Yes, sir. Because yes, <laughs> you know it's a very new thing this yes. year. Mm -hmm. But coach, before we get into your coaching style, uh, we could just take a look back on um, your time here at Tivoli Gardens High School, um, being a part of that winning Manning Cup team in 1999. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. So give us a look back story on that, please. Well, the whole, the whole Manning Cup. Trust me, the feeling, mm -hmm. the feeling that alone kind of drive me. Wanted to come give back to the school because winning Manning Cup is never easy it is never easy you know from 1976 mm -hmm. Tivoli won Manning Cup um, I will never ever you can you know the history you know the history with, um, charges KSC, KSC you know uh, Harden yeah you know, I remember the 1996 Walker Cup final you was a part of that team the 1996, yeah. Those are part of that like, team as a young um, star. Yeah, as a young star. Yeah, I see, That's I my see. first year. First, first, yes. That's, That's my first, like the first year. year for That's you. my first year, you know. So you lost um, in 1996 to Walker Cup. Yes. See, you know. What was the mentality like at that time, though? Losing you your first major title. What was it like? Honestly, it never sink in as much because as a young star, yeah, yeah we lose, but I never really like Get Fenty. that, get that, yeah. Mm -hmm. Because as a youngster, just come in and thing, you know. Steve Green, they're more likely with, you know. Would have feel um, it Craig Stewart, them, we're more likely with a feel it them time there, and, you know what I mean? But as a youngster, yes, disappointed and feel that type of way, but, you know. So again, as I say, we move on from 96, we go to 99. These are the golden yeah, years. What was the mood like in that 99, time? 99, it was everything, man. Because Superstar remember team, now, yeah. yeah. Remember, it's not really a, um to be honest. My team, we were together. Yeah. That is what really came us. We were together, and I was um a real like captain because playing in Manning Cup 1999 is like I consider a big man a play Manning Cup. Good. You understand? Give me, give, give me some, of the, some of the names of the players in that was in that 99 squad. Roland Dean. Yeah. Ruka da Costa, Lenford Campbell. Baita. Um, you know, Denua Garden. You know? Yeah. Um, you have Sonny. Sonny. You know? Yeah, Sonny, Sonny um, Luke Rose, ball. my goalkeeper. Yes. You get me? Simpson also was a goalkeeper at that yeah, time. Man, Jeremy Simpson. Simpson. Yeah, yeah man. Jeremy JR was Simpson. also my goalkeeper at that time. I think I remember Jeremy you know? Simpson was seen and from the yeah, kids. He played you know a pivotal I mean? role in the yeah, semi final. Man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. But Luke Rose in the final. Remember, he got um, some loose. Yes, yes. 
lungs problem and thing and you know but I think the final play from Casey semi final that one look that, that one, we give hot one yeah, look that we give Casey you know what I mean because the whole thing is the coach whom I love so much um, Mr. Palmer okay. from Casey you know I think he didn't make an comment about you no know, one man that if my coach would come tell me Dave Clark say no one man team See, can't beat point you as yeah, a one so man it's like team me everybody you know what I mean because everybody say all right then chemo chemo this chemo you know what I mean because and trust me I play good in the game but Lenford Campbell who scored the goal mm -hmm. Orion Simpson Orion Simpson Orion Simpson too you know him pass on and thing yeah it was you like know? a brother yeah you know what I mean and then trust me man that game to me was the final was the final because to all everybody come out so basically going into that final he already win yeah because to be honest you know JC was a the team to beat the team to be honest you know JC never no match to me okay honestly to God honestly yeah JC <laughs> never no match to me JC wasn't no match to me KC was the team was a team where, where they have mile of man play defense and thing where you know mm -hmm. mark me now you know I was above everybody yes but they still had quality. They still had quality. Because when you were the Jamaica under 20 team, at them. They were the main. They, they were the main. You know what I mean? When we have JSC, um, you know, you have. Who them looked at? Vivian. Mm -hmm. Vivian. Bala. Bala, look at you. Look at you. Kinda, that you understand time. what I say? Where them kind of. I mean, them look up to in and all mm -hmm. these things. So, really and truly, a good player. Don't get me wrong. But it wasn't Very good at player, but it wasn't, Christopher Nicholas no, Calibar. It the wasn't at that. So, KC was more like a team. Where so once you defeat KC so in the semi-final, yeah. Manny Cup surely really and truly, come here. Really and truly, to be honest with you, even the, 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 um, the final, mm -hmm. the night before, it was a joke. Everybody just a joke around and we can't believe it's a final this time when you're going to play. So overconfident. Yeah, so it's just more like me I say, happy to that I was around to just listen to me. Get back in check, we still have Yeah, man. Today. Listen, man, this is it, man. You know? And we pay feet even in the Oliver Shield. Okay, tell us about that one. You know what I mean? We pay feet in the, in the Oliver Shield. Because a state to play. Mm -hmm. States give a 5 2 down there. But I look upon them and I tell them when it was like 4 2. Come on, me, to be honest. We go down to St. Elizabeth. States win the game. But after the game, everybody one man rose around like I'm king this themselves. Christopher <laughs> comes. I swear as has got live it. Yeah. But there's I look no one look on them and them and tell them say, listen to me. Just make it stay at four two. Because I feel them. You got a chance. I'm gonna say listen to me man, just make it stay at four two. Me can't deal with them. And the man Okello okay, cool. I can clearly remember the man just a walk around with the ball in the box and the man just literally take the ball and just throw the ball in the goal 5-2 <laughs> You understand? I'm going to come back to the stadium now Whole states It's like my cross Take out all of that So it's like yeah man When states down 2 love because I score the 2 now have, have them 2 love you know mm -hmm. And get an indirect kick now in the box I'm a ball out and said, nobody touch it. Here comes, we don't know if I some who get in a Ruka. Ruka got two after ball. I said, Jesus Christ. <laughs> in the box. So, you know, because me as the architect, something now, if I say, ah, gee, this is not, so you know, a five ball list now. Yes, man. Probably so, you know, no. say, you yeah, understand? But it was, trust me, man, it was a joy, man. A joy, you know? Um, it was a joy. With that overconfidence though, um, and, and, and of course you know that skillful display in the morning cup, you then mm -hmm. take your talents to the bigger team, which is the Tivoli Gardens Premier yeah. League team. And mm -hmm. That for me, in my time growing up, yeah. was a time when me really see, see Christopher yeah, okay. Nicholas, yeah. Roland Dean, <laughs> Kasai Hines, yeah, well, Victor yeah. Thompson, Steve Green. Yeah, well. You know, I, tell us about okay, Tivoli Gardens something. squad there. Let me tell you how it is. You know, when I'm in morning cup, mm -hmm. I will lead go square in the morning cup, you know. And tie with Nandelo for leading goal scorer in the Premier League. You know that? Yes, yes, man. 
in money income. That's cool. So the same average in money yeah. income you had. So it's like it just go. Who Ronaldo was a defender? Most people would say, ah, no. what, what's it there? No, uh, Nandi was a more defensive midfielder. No, 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 man. no man. Nandi, forward, Nandi man. a forward man. At the time, at the time. Yeah, man. Nandi when Nandi play like money income, Nandi that play don't know. Not back like okay. that. But from Nandi come, man. Nandi no bulldoze everybody, man. And just know, say, a forward. You okay. know what I mean? But in the Premier League now, 99 too. Mm-hmm. I remember we go win, we so win the same year after the same winning the money cup. With me, Boo and Teddy, I play forward. Mm-hmm. This or no? No, me and Boo I play forward, but that are Ricardo Fuller. Yeah, man. Teddy was a more younger one. Teddy, no, Teddy in the team as well, man. Because the three of we did in Jamaica are under 20. Under 20 at the time. Yeah. Yes. You know? And each time it's like we're gone and. We don't play any D in Chambers. Eh? You remember playing any D in Chambers and I see him under 20. Yeah, yeah, man. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, man. man. <laughs> yeah, man. So, yeah, man. as we say, no, Nicholas, uh, Tivoli Gardens, dominant time, mm-hmm. joyous time for you. I yeah, can remember man. you as a, as a youngster, you, you brought us paying up at Boys Town <laughs> in a lot of games. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, you've done all of that as mm-hmm. a player coming on now. But one of the things that we, we would have seen is that most of these things, without you telling us no, you don't know. We don't know about them. Yeah, because so how because, has the yeah. impact mm. been of you not having a platform like two halves yeah. now? How yeah. is it? It is, trust me, trust me, it's a joy. That's why I, I really and truly, when you guys get in touch with me, mm-hmm. I never really like say, so no, because of the inner city and that's what we need, yeah, man. to be honest with you. You understand? Because every day you have people inside of the garrison look for me and say, it's me the bond, this song. It made it born born at this, different time. It made it born this, and it, it, it's sad mm-hmm. because even inside, even inside Jamaica here, you have like the, the, the so called high society, yeah, the upper you upper know, teams, them with them, you know, like the above view, them with them. Yeah. <laughs> Let me tell you, up to now, this stick with me. Mm-hmm. Jamaica team, I play a game in a stadium. And I was walking, going inside the stadium. And daddy looked at me and said, Kimo, what are you doing here? I said, Daddy, you know, so you know. going There. Daddy said, No, man. There is no way I could play for half of you. And down there in Jamaica team. That shook me. Yeah. It's reality from that was there. What a reality, my That's the reality. That's a harsh reality. And so that's yeah, why, as I said, so you see, that's here. why you see two halves. Yes, man. Yeah, man. I'm proud of this. You understand? I'm a know you have a lot of youngsters. You know? We need because that platform. We need that platform. Yeah. I strongly believe that, because as I said, even just preparing for this interview, mm-hmm. searching and things, it's just tough stuff that I would have known off the top of my head. Yeah. And basic thing, very basic. Mm-hmm. And Christopher Nicholas, without doubt, is one of our it's easily standout easy, stars. Easy, There's easy, no easy. coverage, right. no footage yeah. there. Looking at even the right, national right. team yeah. history, then, you've been in general, and out. It, uh, that's what I am saying. Especially yeah, at that time saying. during um, 2005 yeah. coming up, when general, you were easily at the peak imagine, for Tivoli. Just imagine. Remember we qualified for the under 20 World Cup. Exactly. Yeah. Played yeah. against Argentina. When I play, when I play, you know, General Mark, you know, and I'm not joking. You, know. you say Clovis. Mm-hmm. Hmm? The Brazilian coach. Oh, yeah, man. All of you. When when you hear Clovis them, it's like it's no joke, you know. But something about the, 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 the inner city and the players them. Even Steve Green. Yeah. Him man know been through a lot. You get to me and say even Steve Green. Trust me, me guarantee you. If Steve Green and myself had it there. And have platforms like this yeah, one. You know, trust me, man. We're going clear, bro. Honestly. You understand? I'm happy for my brother Teddy, who, you know, come from South and even Boo, because Boo come from Garden too. Yeah, make it. You understand? But Boo did kind of, you know, look at a different platform, certain way, where him status where Camper down and, 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 and um, Peter Ebert. Mm-hmm. They take up boo. Okay, and take control of his yeah. career basically. So, you understand? And kind of have boo a different way you now and say, alright, then listen, me and your father. So, you understand? So, certain things. 
is you like mm -hmm. and the left people they know and live a poor more. Mm -hmm. And you know what I mean? Because that whole different thing man, but trust me. You know? So we are here for that now though coach. So we move into your coaching life now, just mm -hmm. before we wrap up. How is coaching life going? Good because it's something that I love. We love doing the coaching thing. Yeah man, it's something that I love. Football is what I love and understand the game. Mm -hmm. It's only selfish not to teach these youngsters. You know? And trust me, it's a pleasure for me. And I you know the good thing about it I can see. They're learning. The development. They're learning. You understand? They're learning and it's a joy for me. We have a couple youngsters here where trust me. Two halves need to just follow them. We're gonna follow right. them, man. trust me. I know you're captain and I know your yeah, vice man. captain personally. I would have been a part of them development from under mm -hmm. 10 coming up. So yeah. Daniel and Gideon. Yeah man. I know most of them man. Yeah, so man. I can tell you we're yeah, going man. definitely follow them up. Mm -hmm. Um new look to the morning cup, no fans. How does it impact you now? Because I know every time you'd have your boys towards fans on the field pack. Yeah. How much yeah. of an impact that going to be for you? you? Trust me, this this whole this whole new COVID thing and everything kinda. But I mean something that we have to deal with. Mm -hmm. Football have to go on. Something we have to deal with. As I said, football have to go on. So it's just for we as coaches you now to just get them in the right frame of mind. Let them understand. So, here right now is what is important. You understand? You don't have to be around a thousand people or you know what I mean, but just focus in inside what your job is. You understand what I'm saying? So it's just so oh, coach, it's not easy. It is not easy. No, it won't be an easy task, but finally, realistic goal for the season and for the football program of Tivoli High School going forward. Honestly, I would love to win. I would love to win. But REM, because we have a young, we have a very young squad. REM, it's like semi final, you know, final. But we go beyond, good. Very good achievement. Trust me. Very good achievement. I see the squad now, coach. I know your squad, your squad make up of a couple well 17 year old in us. Mm -hmm. So you have at least a three year yes. tenure with them. So. so that is it. So it's not just one season, coach. It's not just one season. Definitely a full time program you're looking to do. Exactly. All right, so. Sir. Yeah, man. Well, coach, give thanks again. Um, thank you so much for being here. And of course, you know, two halves will be the platform to enhance the youth them and ensure that we can bring some more highs to their talent and definitely do that. So Especially coach. within the area that you're mm -hmm. preaching in the interview. Yeah, yes, man. In inner, you know, city, inner city, inner city, real man. Bring cross that, that, the that, jungle, that the Tivoli. The south side, because, uh, bro, we can't stay right here, so I will tell you, on and on and on and on, some things we go on, we don't know about. Uh, May I tell you, we don't know about because it never recorded. You understand? It never whole recorded. Whole stories still let me tell you. Like, I, I know, man. Stories, man. Some of the yeah. very few things that we see. Say? When I, I search up for Christopher Nicholas, I tell you, yes. me, me embarrassed, me I tell you the truth. Because yeah. I said, this can't be the Christopher Nicholas who we know. Yeah. And I would have been watching at the Premier League level. Mm -hmm. For me though, one memory I can re recall is over by Boy Stonefield. Trust me, it was one. One hour. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and you score that, that, that killer goal down by the yeah, Callis Smith yeah, driver. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. trust me, the whole are gathered on the field. Like yeah. that yeah. 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 You know? All Island knock out when Boyston was yeah. looking for the triple. triple yeah. And Tivoli got it, decided, say, no, 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 you know what I mean? But where them think that they, because even Boyston, yeah. you see Bangi? Yes, man, Michael Campbell. Michael, bro, as I'm telling you, we can't go on and on and on and on. Yeah, we just yeah. flat for two halves right now. Thank you very we much. We can't sir. come inside and get inside them and make them say, somebody's there for them. That's what we want to do. Yeah, so, man. coach, give thanks again. Yeah, Respect. Yeah, very man. much, sir. Bless, Bless you, my brother. Bless.
16 years old. I am captain for Tival Guard High School. What position you play, Daniel? Central attacking midfield. All right, Daniel, central attacking midfield. So it means that you are the one who will be in charge of the creating aspect of the team. What's the overall goal for the Manning Cup season this time? Well, this goal is to achieve something out of Manning Cup this year and work hard and let the team do their best. And so, Skipper, no fans for the first time in the Manning Cup. How do you think you're going to manage without your fans? Well, this year it's kind of different without the fans. And we have to show them that although it's not our home ground, mm -hmm. we have to show them that we have to work hard and do our best and win the Manning Cup this year. You know the Tivoli fans are normally a boisterous fans and normally fill the field. So you know, of course, you're going to be playing in a bubble. When them tough games are come along, you need your fans. But as you say, let's see what happens. So here All the best by Omar and Giddin, one of the star talent in Tivoli Gardens team and also the vice captain. So Giddin, tell us your position. So Giddin, what would be your personal goal for this morning cup season? Well, would I like to dominate the game and play as much good ball games so as coach can see me we have a better chance to play overseas. And the realistic goal for the team, what do you think your team? Think your team have a chance to win the Money Cup? Yes, coach, definitely. Team work hard every day, coach. I see a team having a, 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 a very young squad of a, a make up of at least 16 year old. So, if not this season, you definitely think you're going to be in the running for next season? For sure, coach. Um, how, is it not, how is it like not having fans? Well, it's really bad because regular with, with the fans, we have a better game. So because fans cheer we on. But now without fans, we still can play. I understand, but we just don't have to, we don't think we have a better game right now because we don't have the fans to cheer. Around. So your team. Come on. Come on, come on. Come on, boy. Don't turn up in the bar. Put your body behind the bar. Come on. Get up. 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 Get up